Welcome back everyone. It's Will from Hold Fast Marine, your local boat shop. And today I've got a good treat for you guys. We are going to show you how to shrink wrap a boat. I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to shrink wrap your boat and something that's very important in this day and age. Yes, I'm going to show you the cheapest way to shrink wrap your own boat. At the end of the video, I'm going to go over the costs of everything so that you guys can see how much money you're going to have to shell out to shrink wrap your boat at home. And I'm also going to show you guys all of the tools that I use to shrink wrap a boat. Okay, so first things first, I need to establish the top height of our shrink wrap. And to do that, I want it to be able to come over the top of the engine here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball a measurement. Then I'm going to bring that down and just do a quick rough measurement. We have 36 inches is what we're going to call it. And then I cut it with a handsaw. Why a handsaw? No batteries. I can cut all day long with this thing and I never have to worry about plugging it in. The next thing I have to do is I have to get the measurement from the height here up so that it's, you know, semi level. And all I'm going to do is just take this two by four here and measure to the deck. It's 14 inches. So we're going to go 36 plus 14 inches. The next thing we have to do is get the supports, the uprights, uh, I call it banding, getting them in place so that they don't move. And on some of these bass boats, there's not a lot of cleats. There's a cleat here, but it's too close to the engine. I want it, you know, about here on the boat. So what I do is I make a loop that goes around the trailer. And then just with a simple bowline, I tie my knot there so that I can get some tension on it. Now I have another one of those loops on the other side of the boat over here. And I'm just going to hop down real quick and run this uh, through. And then I'm going to take my 2x4. I'm probably going to have it right about there. And I want to get it up going over the top. And then just cut, cut this off somewhere here. Place the 2x4 you know, pretty much the midship of the boat, or the uh, cross section of the boat. And you can see how that 2x4 wants to pull back. So we're just going to move it back and then I want to cinch her down as tight as tight as I can get it and then tie her off there now I just have to do the other two now that we have the three supports off we need to run a band all the way up the bow across the top of each one of those and then down around the engine that's our, our top frame the 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 ridge pole if you want to call it that and I like to go around um, the winch on the front I'm going to come around here like this and tie just an overhand knot. Now what we have to do is we have to protect uh, or cover the top of this 2x4 uh, because when the shrink wrap pulls on it, the corners of the 2x4 are going to want to push through. Now, you can go online and you can buy caps made specifically for this. They're like two bucks a piece. Seems like a waste of money. I use shrink tape. The shrink tape I buy from Uline, and what I do is I pull off a long strip like this, and then I fold it, fold it, fold it, to make a pancake. And then, oh, seems to be a delivery truck here, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that. All right, so we made our little pad, place it right on top there pull out yet another small piece of tape. All we're gonna do is just rest her see, right over the top and then I pinch the edges around and that's gonna hold that nice and tight so that when we run our webbing, it'll go right over the top and then the shrink wrap will go over that and then we won't have to worry about the corners getting all torn. Now we've run our webbing across the whole thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off quite a bit extra here, a good uh, good couple feet. So we take our, our guy here and come through this loop at the bottom. And then I'm gonna make this loop up here, put my tail end through there. And then we're gonna start tightening her down. I'll get you guys a 
side angle. And I'm just gonna pull and pull and pull until she is tight. And you'll know it's tight when it sounds like a drum. It's low E, low C. Tighten her down there. Just a couple half hitches to keep it all good to go. And then I like to cut the excess off. Now it's time for the belly band. The belly band is one of the most frustrating things to do because it falls down and uh, whatever. But we're gonna get going on the belly band. First thing we need to do is we need to put an anchor point here for our belly band. And I just tie a simple bowline knot like this. And what I wanna do is come down probably, that's about a good length. There is no scientific method for this. It's all experience and practice. And I find that that's about the right length. And all I'm gonna do is tie an overhand loop. There's my loop. Now that we have our attachment points set, we need to run the belly band on this loop. And we're gonna go, I'll zoom in here. We're gonna go through the loop, go through that loop down there, through the loop, through the loop, and end up at the bow. When I get to the bow, I like to tie a loop in the end and just hook it on the trailer so that it doesn't move. Now that we have the belly band where we want it, we're gonna loosen up our, our knot there and we're gonna tie a trucker's hitch knot up here. Uh, and the way, the way that we do that is we take our, our main section here and we make a loop and then we're just gonna twist that loop a few times and bring it the standing end back through that loop. I know it's tricky, but you can look it up online. There's a lot of good guys out there who do the trucker's hitch knot and they can help you. Now what we're gonna do is crank the bejesus out of this. Pinch it, bring the knot through. Again, just a couple of half hitches. We'll do you dandy. Cut the excess off. Okay, I've got the shrink wrap on and let me tell you all something. This piece of shrink wrap is junk. It's awful. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a tricky one, folks. Um, we're going to run into some problems here, I can already tell, and you are all going to get to watch. All right, uh, the first thing we need to do is start tucking uh, the shrink wrap, so tucking it up on it. And I buy these fancy little cutters here, and all I'm doing is I'm feeling for that belly band, which is right there. And I'm going to come down just a little bit underneath, and I'm going to start cutting the shrink wrap. Start to tuck it and all we're going to do is tuck it up underneath like that. You don't have to get super anal with this. You can just just tuck it. It's okay. You don't have to make sure everything's perfect. All right? And now I'm going to continue all the way down and around the back. Same process. Because boats are uh, well, not square. We're going to have a uh, fold. And all we're going to do is Fold it over till it's pretty tight on the bow. Tight there. I think we can live with that. And that, that's our fold. Really the only one. There's another one in the stern there. But and now it's the same thing. We're gonna, just wanna make it known real quick here that this shrink wrap would never, ever, ever go onto one of our boats that we wrap out in the field. Never will happen. It's all brand new stuff all the time. This is just for demonstration purposes. That's it just for demonstration. Now we're gonna start our welding. And by welding, I mean this is gonna be the process in which we heat up the shrink wrap and fuse it to itself to make it uh, so that it doesn't move. And I'm putting on these uh, arm gaiters, not because I don't wanna get burned, but we've had some pretty good tattoo work done, more to come, and I don't wanna ruin it. So I wear these, they're neoprene, and they're available at hamiltonmarine.com. I'm also gonna wear these gloves here. These are the same gloves that I use uh, for welding, uh, specifically TIG welding. They're really good at, you know, well, not letting you get burned. Got our torch. And the first thing we're gonna do is start welding around down here, down around this, this belly band. For the seam, uh, we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna come in and actually weld all of this together.
I'm gonna go around and finish welding this whole thing and I'll be right back with you. Can't shut the camera off because I got gloves on. Okay, we've got our weld done all the way around the whole boat. Now, what we need to do is fasten the shrink wrap to the trailer and that is pretty easy to do. We've got some more of our webbing here. We're gonna find where our band is, which is up here. Tuck that up a little bit. Poke a knife through like that. Take our webbing, poke it through. Again, I tie a bowline because I like the bowline. Measure down and then I come up and add a little extra. Cut it around the trailer, back up. And then I give it a little, not, not too tight, just tight. And finish it off with a couple of half hitches. Now I'm going to go around and do that uh, in the bow, midship, probably in the stern, all the way around. All right, we have our banding done, our tie downs all the way around. And what I like to do is I start in the bow and I work my way to the stern and then go all the way around back to the bow. Now, you don't need to wear gloves for this. I do because sometimes I have to like go over here. You'll see. So this thing... This uh, shrink gun is extremely loud, so there's not going to be much point talking to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, work my way up, like this, here, 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 and then work my way up uh, to the top uh, using a, a step ladder. got some holes, but we knew that was going to happen. This is falling off the rails. This is completely falling off the rails. I'm going to finish this boat up and then I'll get back with you. Well, that did not go well. Uh, because the shrink wrap is so old and so uh, dirty, we just had way too many holes. Um, and I wasn't comfortable with it, and I can't, I can't do that to a boat that's going to be sitting in my yard all year. It has to be perfect. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to redo this whole boat. I'm not going to, we're not going to watch it again. But I do want to show you how to tape a seam. And this is a seam. Remember, this is the one that we folded over. I'm going to take your shrink wrap tape. Pull a good bit off. Start at the top. And then wrap it down around the bottom like that. Cut it off. This one has a little bit of a gap. So another piece of tape. I can tell you this stuff whew, is strong. And once it bonds, I mean, this, even with all the holes in it, it's tight. Like the shrink wrap is tight. It's, uh, it's a very good product. So let's real quick, uh, so I can get on with my day, let's real quick uh, go over the costs for all of this stuff. All right, first things first, I'm not going to be giving you guys exact figures here because, well, we're in 2022 and prices change by the minute. But for a roll of shrink wrap to do a 25 foot long boat, let's say, you're going to want to have a minimum of 30 feet of shrink wrap. Um, so you can get it like a 120 foot roll. You can get it off of Amazon for like 109 bucks, or you can get it where I get it from, which is Uline, and that's going to cost you uh 198 to 205 uh not including shipping for the banding the banding's gonna run the, the webbing that we use that's gonna run you you know 20 or 30 bucks um for the tape again 20 30 bucks for a roll of tape 
Now here comes the big ticket items, the shrink wrap gun. You cannot use a hair dryer and you cannot use an electric heat gun. It will not work. It's gonna to take too long. You won't get a good heat shrink. You must use a heat shrink gun. Now, whether you get it from Shrink Fast or Dr. Shrink or whatever, that heat gun is gonna run you anywhere between $400 and $900. This is a shrink wrap extension. It is six feet tall. And this right here, which you hook one nozzle onto the end and you hook this other end up to your shrink wrap gun. This bad boy, well, I don't know exactly how much it is right now, but we're gonna put up a photo and yeah, they are expensive. This is a must have if you have a pontoon boat or any type of tall boat, this is a must have. You cannot do it from a ladder. You'll fall and you'll kill yourself. So I haven't done the totals up, but we're gonna put them right here at the bottom of the screen. And the grand total to shrink wrap your own boat is, ta-da! Yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, for me to come out to your house and shrink wrap your boat, we charge 18 bucks a foot. So in reality, folks, it is actually cheaper to have somebody come and shrink wrap your boat.